since glaucoma become more and more popular in the younger generation because they sit in front of a computer or use iPhone for such a long time. So we have to have a regular routine to help you relax the eye muscle around the eyes so that we can improve the blood flow with your own practices. Because coming to acupuncture treatment twice a week, that's time consuming and money consuming. So I am going to show the old Chinese way which I practiced since I was elementary school to quickly lower your eye muscle tightness and reduce the eye pressure so we can prevent this detrimental eye disease um, by your own routine. So the point I will show you, the first are called Zuan Zhu, which at the end of the eyebrow, you will press that couple of seconds, 30 seconds to one minute. When you press that, you feel the pressure and the soreness. That will in instantly relieve the pressure around your eyeball. The second point is just on the orbital bone and just below your pupil. So you can use your finger, press that. You can even feel a little hole on this lower orbital bone. So you press that, you also feel the pressure around your eye area. And that's another point. Uh, this is a stomach two and three. If you have bigger finger and then you press two points. And then the other point is you use your thumb from the lateral side of your eye and you measure one thumb finger width and then you feel the indentation on the side of your head. And then you press that, this is called the tai yang, meaning sun. So that's how important this pressure is. It can relieve the eye pressure and also headache. So you press that for 30 seconds. And the fourth point we call the feng chi and it's gallbladder 20. It's you first locate the bone just behind the ear. So you feel this bone mastoid process and then just a little bit inferior to this bone and anterior to this bone and you feel that indentation and then you press that that will quickly relieve your neck muscle tightness so that you can get more blood flow to your eyes to your retina so that's i started practicing when i was in elementary school and we do that twice once in the morning once in the afternoon two hours after we had the regular class so if you can practice regularly, then you can protect your eyes. My mother is already 81 years old. She still has better vision and better hearing than most 40 years old people. So if we can practice just like my mother did, and then you might have very sharp vision and hearing until you reach 80 years old.